In the last video, we set up our AI to kind of chase the closest, throw it around closest, because it's kind of finicky at the moment, player. And that's great and all, but there's an issue that we have to deal with regarding our navigation mesh. And what I mean by that is, uh, all right, for example, let's say this block is a door. And then the door rises. I'm going to go ahead and simulate. The door raises up. Make sure it's set to move up if you're testing this like me. And the nav mesh still has an empty uh, area down there, meaning it, AI cannot walk through it. There's, it thinks there's still something there. That's because the navigation mesh is only really built in the editor. If I move this, you can see it follows it along and rebuilds it. Now, we need it to do this at runtime. So I'm going to give you an example here. So we should be spawning over there when we press simulate. So as you can see, hunts ourselves down. I'm going to move this in more of a way that blocks the path. You can see the AI decides to walk around it instead of going straight through the player. That's great. But let's pretend this is a door and we need to raise it up. Well, if we do that, we raise it up. But the AI is still not really able to um, walk through it. And that's what we need to fix. So let's go to Project Settings, Navigation Mesh, scroll down to Runtime. You'll see Runtime Generation. By default, this is static. We need to set it to Dynamic. So now, I simulate and erase this up. You can see it rebuilt. You can see it's moving the path that the AI can no longer go through. So I'll set this right here. The AI cannot walk through it. Raise it up, or walk through. So that'll be how our doors work. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So that way, uh, if you ever have any questions as to why your AI will not be walking through your doors that you just opened or moved or objects or anything like that, Odds are, this is why. So, now that that's out of the way, I will see you in the next one.